Hey guys, Nessie Giga here. We actually lost the last episode early on accident. But that's fine, though. Welcome. We're about to have a Welcome. funny fucking time. What can I do you for? Thank so this first. Because we're about to fucking have, like, the My easiest last fucking episode ever. Going this way. Be I mean, I guess he ain't wrong, though. Cause we're not, we're not, we're fucking not gonna sugarcoat it. Alright. This is the most. F this is the most unfucking. Welcome. This is the most dumbest fucking thing I could ever do. I don't always but that is, I can do this up. is insane to me, but I'm okay with it. No, not yet. Good luck to you, stranger. Now we wait. Mate. I I I just want to see what it does. That is a top notch weapon. What does this you do? Really don't settle for anything less than the best, do ya? I increase my power by two, my two time, by, by double. All right. Not something what I was hoping for, but I can work with it. You know, you never know when you get shotgun shells, guys, right? Um. So let's let's prepare the boss fight for the boss fight. You, Ashley, you stay here. I'm gonna go fight him, and this won't. This will be like a couple minutes, guys. Ashley, I, 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 it won't be that long. Don't wait up for me, baby. I'll be back. Just for you. Oh, fuck my wife. Shit. She got tentacle raped. Oh, fuck. I that's, that's not something I can ban YouTube anymore. Oh, no. A hunter. No. Lord of the Flies. That's even worse. Who wants to be a, who wants to be a fucking Lord of the Flies in 2023? Yeah. We got this, though. We can fuck it up. fucking got this so obviously we're gonna fucking we're about to fucking do some fucking dope ass shit we're gonna have a long John of fire fight I don't know why I'm gonna really capping like this you guys saw the video you're gonna you already saw what's gonna happen next that it was just for fun Oh well, he's dead. Well, we got one more thing left to do for the fight. You shouldn't be able to bring a, a rocket launcher in the Resident Evil 4 boss, Resident Evil boss fights in general. You shouldn't be allowed to bring a fucking rocket launcher like that. It should be earned. It shouldn't just be something you can bring to it. Cause look at this. That was a, like a four-bit phase boss fight. And it's been reduced to fucking two seconds. I mean, now we gotta fucking, you know... We do have to do some work, though. It's not like we can just, you know... Finally, a look that suits you, fire a couple the magnum you rounds know. into the pearl. Still, I need to cut this date short. This is a cool, this is a kind of a cool like add addition to it. The like this is a cool this is a cool ass addition to the thing. I, I I'm, like no no cap no 
What do they say these days? What do the black people I want to imitate say these days? You know, they don't. They don't say a lot of things. Um, though, um. Like, there's a lot to fucking have conversation with about this fight. Different nuances, that sort of thing. But you just need to like, hit him a couple times with a fucking magnum. And then you can just do. Like, just, just do what we did earlier. Again. And that's Resident Evil 4. Oh, yeah, one That's Resident Evil 4. Honestly, this is a cool ass design for Sadler. It's too bad we never get to fucking see it. Ever. I'm not even mad I I lost out on that fucking sight to see. It was kinda fun. Oh no. Baby Eagle stuff is gone. But if you've played Resident Evil 4, which I'm hoping you have, there's still a little bit more to do. We got a lot to see. Oh, fuck you. Wait, the woman who betrayed us betrayed us? What are you doing? Nothing personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. Oh, no. The woman who's known for betraying Leon betrayed Leon. Leon, how could you have not known? You Stop looking at her fat ass, Leon. I think we both know this. It's where we go our separate ways. Ah, ah, the separate ways. They, they said the thing. I see. They said the thing. That's cute. Hey, Leon. It'd be funny if the fucking keychain was a fucking a little tiny Leon fucking statue or whatever, like they have for on his thing. Leon. That would be funny. And it doesn't need to be funny. Where is she going? Who knows? I don't understand. Why would she just Well you see, Ashley. Ada is what the kids call bleached. Like she has a thing for a type of man, Leon, uh, Ashley. She has a... Hold up. Right, let me check something real quick here. I just wanted to see if we had any fucking our weapons left or not. That's all we did. Okay. Right. So, much like... Oh wait, what was that? Uh, we don't need to save it. It auto-saved and... What we need to save before is kind of auto save before it anyways. So that's really only there if your, your mom has needs to do like groceries or whatever. Oh, much like the other things, you can just leave Ashley behind for the most part. But it's cool though, honestly. I'm not sure why he attacked us. The rest of us like having a seizure on the ground. I'm not sure why he was able to be seizure free. I'm guessing maybe it's like he doesn't have like the the plagas fully in him, maybe, or maybe he's just too plagas. Like the plaga himself inside of him, so is so powerful. You know, Leon, you could take any of these things like for like. Experimentation purposes or something. I don't know why he did it. If I recall correctly, we can do this without getting hurt. I don't know how to fucking do that, so we're not gonna do that. See, I already got hurt. That's cool though. Yeah, this thing is gonna vibrate a lot in this. I, I'm trying to be away from the, as away as possible from the microphone without you not hearing my voice. But some reason, this fucking thing just makes a vibration on my controller just 
just go crazy. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know how to stop it, nor do I really care to do so. It's kind of like when I played, like, Steam games or whatever for you guys. I can stop my Steam friends from coming up on the thing, but I don't really care. And I know nobody watched me enough to care either, so it's not like a big deal. Woo! Leon would be great at the X Games, I feel like. Like, I feel like Leon would be amazing like, extreme, uh, a skier with a, a jet skier. I think Leon would be great out there because he's doing a great job here. You know, I mean, when I control him, he's doing a great job. Uh, so, it's cool though. Honestly, the fact that we're doing so well at this at all without dying is just a testament to how, how fun this is. I guess it's not. Hard. It's honestly not gonna be hard. They would never make the fucking last level of this game impossible or some shit. The timer's there just for the timer's there because they need to have the, the countdown to destruction. Holy shit! I didn't even mean to fucking do my first try. Holy shit! Yo, good me. That was pretty insane, Ashley. You were right. That was insane. Uh. So we beat Resident Evil 4 for you guys in under 30 episodes. I should have stalled it for 30 episodes. That'd be funny. The one thing I don't like about this, but I also like it as well, is she's not soliciting Leon for sex like she does in the original, which I, I liked because it shows that well, you know, Leon's hot, I could put in work with and it showed that Leon's character as a person when he turns her down. You don't need me. Like you it you can handle yourself. doesn't matter Even if you could use a lesson that he safety. does or doesn't. It's fine. Let's go. It's there's a similar scene. This is a similar scene that he has with it, but like it's weird that. Condor One? Bruce to Condor One, do you read me? Come in. I said come Because especially now that we don't get you know, him hitting, hitting on, uh, Leon. on Hunt again. Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Which wasn't really crucial Where either. But it kind of shows on. his character as like a... Like a uh, that's what I'm looking for. Like, like, like Dante. Where he's kind of calm, cool, and collected. Only because he has to be, or he's gonna cry like a baby. And that makes sense. Oh, hey, Resident Evil Four. That's, hey, that's the game we're playing right now. But we have to do the thing. Uh, there, we're gonna watch a little bit of the cutscenes because we kind of have to. I don't know if we can skip the cutscenes or not and get the thing. So we're gonna skip some of the cutscenes though. So give me. Like this is a lot of cool shit to show us. They didn't have to make for us. I kind of appreciate that. a lot of cool shit though like I should have maybe skipped a bit more of this fucking thing though but it's fine uh, honestly overall as a remake it's a great fucking it's a great fucking remake like it's amazing how how great this is Oh, cool, here it is. We have it. The Amber. We have the old Amber. Now we can, be, we can revive the Aerodactyl. Excellent. Wait, who is this man? Just one Could it be what are you the one? Do not 
Hades. Sunglasses. Yeah, it's Neo! Ain't no way they got my boy Neo from the Matrix in this. Is a new dawn is breaking. Oh, that's his Wesker. I'm, I'm, just one I live. don't hate this Wesker. It's not my favorite change. Wesker, but it's a good Wesker. So, Voice-wise, it's close to how I imagine Billions. Wesker sounding. Billions. But I still, as much as I fucking hate DC Douglas, I still prefer his voice over the other Weskers. DC Douglas is a weird, gross man who does a lot of weird, gross things and gets away with it by being a liberal Democrat. A man after my own heart. But, like, it's insane to me how this man is, like, how good this man is as Wesker. He's still a weird creepy dude. And I don't think that Capcom should keep hiring him. Let me skip it now. But I, but I get why they hired him. And he's retired now, so fuck faking fucking god. He's still weird and gross and creepy, though. Oh, yo, show us the babe. Yes! Yes! Hunnigan is shown on screen. My erection's complete. How am I engaged to a black good woman? Is beyond me. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for hanging out, guys. That's a good girl. You have a wonderful rest of your guys. Guys, stay safe. Fuck DC Douglas and peace. Mm-hmm.